How do Deontay Wilder fans explain the way Deontay Wilder is acting and the way he is behaving in that he doesn't want the Undisputed to fight, he doesn't want to fight AJ, yet they are still backing him. They still think that he is the one who wants to fight and it is Anthony Joshua who is ducking. The Anthony Joshua is the one who is making offers. He has made him five offers previously that have gone unnoticed and unanswered. And now he has been made a hundred million offer. Deontay Wilder continues to turn down these offers and refuses to have any contact with Eddie Hearn, Anthony Joshua or many of his team. He'll talk to some officials at DAZN but still it looks like he's going to turn that down now. So what is the problem? Why do Wilder fans think that Anthony Joshua is ducking Deontay Wilder when it is Deontay Wilder who is refusing all contact with certain members of Anthony Joshua's team? Anthony Joshua and his team and Eddie Hearn want to work with Deontay Wilder. They're happy to work with Shelley Finkel if he will talk to them. But he won't. He just won't. He won't respond to any emails and he won't respond to any offers. They'll talk to the zone officials but even that is going to be a problem because they don't want to talk to them. They don't want to receive any offers and now this 100 million offer, the best offer they're ever going to get, they're looking to turn down. So why do Wilder fans still back him and think that he is the one who wants this fight when he continues to dodge all of the best fights? He won't get in there with anyone of note. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to fight the best out there. He knows he'll get found out at the top level. He knew that against Fury. He knew Fury wasn't 100%, he knew he was just coming back and he knew that was the only chance he could get to beat Tyson Fury if he was ever going to do it. That is why he wanted to fight Tyson Fury and that is why he didn't want the rematch. Yes, Tyson Fury pulled out. At no point did Deontay Wilder want that rematch. There was never a point that Deontay Wilder wanted to get back in there with Fury because he knew the outcome. He knew what would happen. He knew that his equaliser couldn't work against Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury got up. Tyson Fury outboxed him and he took the power. Something Deontay Wilder did not expect. Something Deontay Wilder's team did not expect. And now he has to face Dominic Brazil, his mandatory, when it should be Dylan White. He wouldn't even fight Dylan White. He was offered the Dylan White fight for a good amount of money, but he wouldn't face him. Because Dylan White is a handful, and he knows he will lose. Dylan White is just too much for him. Dylan White's too much for him, Tyson Fury's too much for him, and Anthony Joshua is way too much for him. He's even called out Tony Belly when Tony Belly was retired. He just uses other people's name to build his own brand, build his name, get more money for the fights that he is in, against limited opponents and he refuses to fight the top guns. Yet his fans say he is the best in the division. It is Anthony Joshua who doesn't want to fight him and Deontay Wilder will knock him out. Well no he won't because he won't get in there with him. If he would get in there with Anthony Joshua then maybe we would know. But still he won't even come over to the UK. So I don't know where they're getting that from because we will never know who will win that fight because Deontay Wilder will not get in there with Anthony Joshua. He just won't. He's never going to get in there with Anthony Joshua. If he's not going to do it now then he won't do it at all. If he's not going to do it for 100 million or 80 million for two fights, then he's not going to do it at all. It's not going to happen. It just won't. If I'm honest, I think Deontay Wilder will probably fight Dominic Brazil, maybe Terry Flick a few more, and then retire. I don't think he will ever get in there with Anthony Joshua. I just think he wants to Terry Flick his way through the rest of the division, and when he has fought all of the journeymen, he will probably retire. I don't see him ever getting in there with a the tough challenge again, because he knows what happens when he does. Against Luis Ortiz, he got saved by the ref. He got given way too much time. That was bad. That was really, really bad. You could see what was happening there. And against Tyson Fury, he got extremely lucky with a draw because that should not have been a draw. That was just so biased. He should not have got a draw. It was ridiculous. And he knows at some point he will not be lucky. He will not get a get out of jail free card. And he will lose his WBC World Championship against an opponent who is not at top level. That is what will happen. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on Wilder fans who continue to believe that Deontay Wilder is the one he wants to fight and Anthony Joshua is ducking him? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.